Hi there, fragrance community. I'm finally back. I'm sorry, I know I promised my comeback long time ago, but I just happened to be quite busy and actually I wasn't so sure about the quality of my reviews. So I just decided to stop with it for a while, but I kept getting all these messages of support and thank you for that and I just that I decided I really enjoy doing reviews so I'm here again. Uh, I decided I will come back with a f review of one of my all-time favorites and that is Ambre Nargi. I own two uh, travel spray bottles, 15 ml uh, each and which is actually a cheaper way of getting this fragrance which is uh, quite pricey uh, 100 ml bottle will cost you around uh, 280 dollars when we include taxes and delivery and it, you can also get this travel spray discovery set uh, or just travel spray set uh, that uh, contains uh, four uh, bottles of, 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 of fragrances of your own choice. You can uh, choose uh, all four the same or, or four different ones and it will cost you around 140 American dollars when we include taxes and delivery. And you can also find these uh, little uh, travel spray bottles uh, on eBay so you can give uh, give, a tr give it a try on eBay if you want this fragrance. Well. Okay, so Umbra Nargi uh, hit the market in uh, 2004 and it is uh, a perfume by Jean-Claude Elena. It is part of Hermès Hermès line and um, it is a very very sweet fragrance. So those who don't like sweet fragrances stay out of here. Um, it is a uh, very gourmand, uh, sweet, but also uh, it is done uh, very uh, in a very sophisticated way. I think uh, all the notes are extremely well blended and uh, amber is there and uh, it, it is like it keeps all the ingredients together but it is never too loud or too pushy. So even those who don't like uh, amber, please give this one a try. Um, the notes I can smell in this fragrance are cinnamon, of course. When you first spray it on, it just hits you with lots and lots of cinnamon. I get that apple vibe that everybody is talking about, but I also get a wonderful boozy vibe from it, uh, rum or something, in the opening which actually settles down when the fragrance dries down. It is warm, it is spicy, it is sweet, and it is very... Uh, smooth and comforting uh, in my opinion and uh, in the dry down I can actually smell some vanilla and maybe hints of uh, some flowers too. I checked the notes and I uh, saw an orchid being listed so I believe that's the flowery note I can smell and um, well it is very edible so if you don't uh, like uh, Gourmand, uh, you won't probably like this one. Um, I, uh, I have heard people complaining about uh, the performance of this fragrance, but uh, my experience is that I get uh, 12 hours each time and that it's project, it projects like a beast for first few hours then it uh, becomes a bit uh, more closer uh, to the skin but uh, it actually does uh, the job uh, amazingly well during all 12 hours of longevity I get sometimes even more uh, sometimes I even can smell myself and others can smell me after 16 hours so if you ask me that's like 10 out of 10 for performance. My experience is that uh, it colder it gets uh, the better uh, performance it does so uh, if you think that it's not maybe good maybe you should try it in a bit colder weather and uh, I just love wearing this one in a snowy day. Uh, I also heard people saying that they can find uh, a perfect occasion for wearing this one. Uh, I wear this one all the time. It is very close to being my uh, winter signature scent. If there wasn't for Tonka Imperial, this one would be the signature for sure. And I wear it everywhere. I wear it at work, at uh, dinner, when I go out in the club. And I can see that maybe men can uh, 
find this one a bit harder to wear not just because it I think it is actually perfect unisex fragrance but it is so sweet and edible and maybe uh, they don't uh, see as many occasions when they think that uh, this one is appropriate but I will just suggest you guys wear this one in any romantic settings uh, a setting and you will work you will do just great it will work for you I promise uh, you will like this one probably if you like fragrances like pure malt, uh, tobacco vanille, tonka imperial and so on so to read this one, when we talk about the scent, I give it 10 out of 10, and when we talk about her performance, I give it also 10 out of 10, so uh, Umber Energy gets a perfect 10 out of 10 from me. Uh, it is just lovely and I adore it, extremely sexy, smooth, sweet and romantic. Uh, Thanks, guy. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope new uh, review is coming soon. I will uh, let you decide what I will review next. I uh, I'm giving you a choice of choosing between Spice Bomb or Tonka Imperial. Just comment down below, and uh, whichever gets more votes, I will do it next. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience about my comeback, and I hope to. See you soon.